Good morning, CXRL, or evening, or middle of the night, afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome back to CXRL. I am sorry for the delay of uploading this. I have... I've been in middle of a move, so... I've gotten very backed up on all the recordings, and also, um... I currently don't have a place to record them, other than my car, because I have a really nice office space in my room now. But, I don't have a door. <laughs> so, with everyone in the house, it's kind of a uh, pain in the rear to record. So, I'll be recording these one by one in the car in South Carolina weather. So, it's going to be interesting. Anyways, welcome to the final race of the Modern Hot Hatch Championship. Even though we're two months after that, that championship ended when I'm recording this. We'll be at Long Beach and Coda. The grid order will be first Epic Tommy Gun, second Battle Bus, third Bob, or Big Papa, fourth Bagel, fifth Spool, sixth Death Rotol, seventh LMP, eighth Reisky, sixth Venom, ten Ghost and Me, eleven Coin C, 12th Game Stopper, 13th Dakota Man, and 14th UNR Bomber. Let's get things on the road, shall we? And we are green at Long Beach. We have a formation lap, so we just have to wait for that to get underway. And here we go. We have our drivers all lined up here. We have, we actually have four screens today. Not those three, unfortunately. And I believe <laughs> LMP's bottom right corner is going to disappear because he only recorded the uh, Long Beach. But here we go. The formation lap's almost over already. It's a very short lap. Who's close to the front? LMP is. Epic Tommy Gun hitting the start finish line at the end of this little itty bitty straightaway. And we are green at Long Beach. Here comes the chaos. The back of the pack. Game Stopper and Coin dueling it out a little bit. Duking and LMP is going to go for an opportunistic move on Epic Tommy Gun, but it does not seem to have worked. Here we go. Two wide. Game Stopper and Death Row Tool coming around to final. Finish the final first. God, the final few turns of the final lap. And Coin's going to give up a position to Dakota Man almost here. And running wide into. Goodness gracious, Death Rotol into the wall, still green. Coin getting a very opportunistic pass on Dakota Man and Game Stopper there. Game Stopper got slowed down by the, the, the by uh, Death Rotol and a little bit of shoving and pushing into the fountain section. Game Stopper is still going to come out on top. LMP leading the race. Game Stopper getting whoa. Dakota Man getting into the back of Game Stopper, taking a little damage there. It looks. What a crazy few laps, and it looks like Dakota Man's still battling it out with Game Stopper. Game Stopper trying to be defensive as possible. It's very hard to pass, but it's also very hard to defend in this track as Dakota Man's going to get the inside line. He's going to pass him into the uh, fountain section, and Dakota Man's going to get the better run run as Game Stopper just gave him a little pat in the rear there, saying hello, and Dakota Man's going to go wide, skipping over the curbs. It's going to lose momentum out of the corner, and Game is going to take the inside line while Dakota Man goes wide and takes the outside. Game Stopper is going to take the lead for now for fourth place. I feel like I'm an auctioneer trying to uh, commentate for this race. It's ridiculous. Coming into the fountain section, Game Stopper still has Dakota Man right up his rear. I don't think I'll, I should ever be a professional uh, commentator, and I think that that line just proves why. <laughs> Here we go. Dakota Man looking up on Game Stopper. Game Stopper going to the inside. Dakota Man trying to take the wide line, but it's going to get shut off. The door's shut, but there's another door open, and Dakota Man is going to try and squeeze to the inside. It's not going to happen for, for, the, for the fountain section, but Game Stopper's going to go a little bit wide. There's just no room there. It's very sketchy to try and pass. Oh, Game Stopper skipping above the curves, kind of like Dakota Man a few laps ago, but Dakota Man was wrong place, wrong time, and was not able to get past. Very close, and Dakota Man going back around the outside. Going to try and make it stick into the start, finish straight to the turn one. Game Stopper's going to try and run him wide into the wall, but Game Stopper's going to lose out. 
Dakota Man passes around the outside as they go into the fountain section, and Dakota Man goes super wide, deep into the corner and goes straight into the tire barrier. Literally straight into it, and here we go, Quincy catching up to Epic Tommy Gun. Tommy Gun seems a little bit slow, looks like he took a little bit of damage out of one of the corners, not sure exactly here. Goodness gracious, what a great few laps of racing we've had. Into the fountain section they go, Coin catching up to Epic Tommy Gun little bit by little bit every lap. LMP pretty comfortably leading this race right now. And here we go. Coin catching up to Epic Tommy Gun. This might be some action in a few minutes. Epic Tommy Gun being very defensive. Here we go. Here might be some action into the fountain. Nope. Not close enough. It's very tricky to pass in these cars and on this track. You have to have a good pace advantage to be able to pass. And it looks like Epic Tommy Gun just grazed the wall there. And Coin's going to have the inside line. It's going to get cut off. And a little bit of contact between Epic Gun and Coin. And Coin's going to take the... No, they're even almost. And Coin's going to out accelerate the golf in a straight line. It's going to go into turn one. A little bit of scraping. And Coin holds onto the inside line and overtakes him. And game stepper into the wall out of the final corner. Epic Tommy Gun's still on the rear of Coin. And it's going to drop back a little bit there. You know, it looks like LMP is catching up to Death Row Toll, catching up to lap traffic now. I need to open the door a little bit to let in some cold air. Jeez, it's hot in here. Here comes LMP la trying to lap Death Row Toll. It's so hard for the lap lapped cars to even get past on this track. Well, cars lapping lapped cars. It's a very short and it's very high intensity race. And here we go. Oh my goodness! Death Row Toll almost wrapped the car and hit LMP there on accident. Ooh, coin getting into this tire smoke there. A little sketchy. But all good, everyone's going through. We'll have enough battery to finish this recording. Possibly? We'll see. Woo! GameStop are taking a lot of curb into the um, fountain section. And Coin not far behind. And here comes LMP on GameStopper. Who saw this coming? LMP is going to take just cut the track. Which, to be fair, he's lapping a car. Did not give him a huge advantage. And turn one, they go into... Woo! Huge contact. LMP almost hitting hits the wall. GameStopper was not backing down from that position. That would technically be a penalty if it was reported. And here comes Coin on LMP. That may have cost Ga LMP the race there. Or at least first position. GameStopper not receding from that inside line. Coin is on LMP now and is not too far behind. Coin is all-wheel drive while LMP is front-wheel drive. So LMP might struggle with traction. Kind of like the Cleos did at Sebring. But we shall see how this goes. LMP now has to relap GameStopper. We'll see how all that plays out. Coin not too far behind. Just holding on for dear life here. Comes LMP on GameStopper and a little bit loose. LMP is going to go into the wall and Coin looks to have a little bit of a run, but it's not going to be enough. You have to be really, really close to make a move. Into the fountain section they go. LMP right on the bumper of another Clio. This is GameStopper once again. He's going to have to try and lap him again. GameStopper taking a lot of curb. He's going to interrupt LMP's line. LMP is going to go to the inside. A great view of this battle from Coin's point of view. LMP is going to get the inside. And Coin is also going to get an opportunistic pass on GameStopper. As they go into turn one, huge shunt from GameStopper on the inside line. But everyone's still on the track. And GameStopper is still very close behind Coin. Right on the bumper there. But it looks like LMP and Coin are going to slowly pull away. The battle between first is pretty close right now. The top two cars are not too far apart. And GameStop is still holding on pretty well. He's not falling off the pace too bad.
is beastly hot in this car right now. Good lord. <laughs> I might turn on the air so that I don't fry in here. <laughs> oh, Game Stopper into the wall. Out of the final corner again. Same corner, tripping him up. And the gap between coin and LMP has seemed kind of, kind of consistent, but here they come up on Death Row Tool. They're going to have to both lap him. Here they come. Into the final corner. Ooh, coin getting a little bit close there. Zone P's gonna have to back off a little bit to get the lap done. Death Row Tool sticking to the inside, not trying to defend, but is accidentally right in the way. And here goes LMP around the outside. Coin's gonna try and make an opportunity to move here on almost three wide, two wide through the uh, fountain section. That's impressive. They're gonna be able to squeeze all by just a little bit of contact with Death Row Tool and Coin, and they all make it through very safe and sound. Good racing from everyone right there. Now Coin has got a little bit more ground to make up, about halfway through the race, not exactly halfway, but almost halfway. Ooh, Coin getting bounced off of a cone on the inside line there, kind of screwed up her line out of the uh, fountain section. Coin getting a little bit closer, it looks. Not by much, it seems like fractions of a second. And here comes Game Stopper up on Death Row Tool. I think this is the shortest track we've ever had a race on. And I think it would have... I'm... I'm kind of glad there's not more drivers who showed up to this race because I think it would have been pure chaos. And here comes Coin a little bit closer on LMP. And here comes the real chaos as Epic Tommy Gun, Dakota Man, LMP all getting together as Coin and... L oh my goodness, here we go into turn one. LMP is going to lap Epic Tommy Gun. Coin's going to get stuck behind Epic Tommy Gun. Nope, Coin's going to get let by back to Epic Tommy Gun into the fountain section of the go. Coin going a little bit deep on the brakes, almost hitting LMP. Here goes LMP on Dakota Man. Dakota Man's not letting him pass easy. GameStop are having a tough time lapping Deco Death Row Tool, it looks. Speaking of the devil, GameStop gets past Death Row Tool. Yo, into the fountain section. Everyone's getting closer. Ooh, coin taking a huge shunt from the wall there. Now here's the tricky spot. Dakota Man is fast. He has a similar build to LMP. We'll see how that's going to make lapping him. Because Coin might get really close to LMP here and be able to make a move. Because Dakota Man's holding them up. She's allowed to do. He's allowed to race. As long as they don't yell at him to get out of the way. Ooh, looks like Dakota Man took a little bit of a biff from the wall. It's going to be slowed down a good bit. They're bunching up now. Coin's going to take a really wide exit there. He's going to lose a little bit of speed on the front strike. You watch the bottom right of LMP. You can really see the action there. A little bit of contact. Coin's going to get really close now. Dakota Man a lot harder in the brakes than LMP expected. And he's going to skip across the... Oh, sorry, his dog's barking outside. He's going to skip across the curbs. He's going to skip across the curbs as well. LMP and Coin's going to go for the move. LMP made a little bit of a mistake into turn one. Here they go. LMP around the outside. Is Coin going to be able to hold it just barely on the inside? There you eat neck and neck. Here it comes into the fountain section, and Coin's going to let up. And let LMP in. LMP was harder on the brakes and a little bit more stern. And he goes on Dakota Man on the inside into the final two corners. He's going to sneak his way up, and he's going to skip across the curbs. He's going to slow his exit. He's back and forth with LMP. Into the final corner, and Coin is right there as well. A little bit of buffing, hitting between LMP and Dakota Man, and LMP's by. Here comes Coin on Dakota Man into the turn one. It's just going to 
hold on just barely and he's gonna fall back. Here we go. Here comes coin on LMP. MP getting a little bit of shock to get a little bumped around by coin and coin's gonna bump into LMP there. It's gonna keep him straight and here comes Dakota Man back on the attack on coin and Dakota Man's gonna get past coin again after making a few contacts and making a few bad lines on um, trying to pass LMP. Oh! And Coin just totaled it! Coin is out of the race! We're still green. We're still green at this time. There's just a, a yellow flag being up. A single wave yellow flag in the first corner right now. Coin has had the worst luck at Long Beach ever. Formula E, she clipped... I think it's that same corner, actually. No. Yeah, it is that corner. Maybe? No. She did the same thing in uh, Formula E and clipped a barrier. Just like that. Just took a little bit too much of a tight line, retired the car. And she just did it again. Whoa, and a big shunt from Death Rotol on from LMP, and <laughs> Dakota Man's going to get back in the fight. The two Cleos still ravaging each other, not like that, but still battling it out pretty profusely. And they go LMP on the outside, and it cut across the Death Row Toll there. You get a good view of this fight from here. Thirty-four out of forty-six laps remaining. What a crazy race. Everything's kind of calmed down now with point out of the mix. LMP is kind of free to do his own. Looks like Game Stopper is catching up to Death Row Toll again. Uh, I think that's Dakota Man in the rear view mirror. Epic Tom. Nope, that's Game Stopper. My bad. Game Stopper catching up to Epic Tommy Gun now. Epic Tommy Gun, I think, taking damage early on, which is mean his pace has been so slow this race. It's really unfortunate. He had, he had really good pace on uh, Long Beach. I think he just skimmed a wall a little bit too much, and bam. Yep, here comes Game Stopper on the attack. Game Stop are getting slightly closer. He's going to probably make this move in the next few laps. Everyone's taking that second to last corner just wrong. A lot of people are using a way more curb and not worrying about their exit speed as much. Game Stop are getting very close, but not close enough. And, and here they go into the fountain section. Game Stopper trying to make that car a lawnmower. As much as it sounds like one, it's not. <laughs> They're rounding out the race. Here comes LMP starting to get close to the mix, and here goes Game Stopper trying to go for the inside, but Tommy Gun mm, could have been just taking his racing line, or could have been moving under braking. It's kind of hard to tell on this track. 
Here comes Game Stopper on the inside. It looks like Tommy Gun's going to let him by, and Game Stopper's going to get... Maybe get the run? It's, it's they're, they're neck and neck right now. Game Stopper's going to try and squeeze him to the inside. Epic Tommy Gun has the inside line, and LMP's getting in the mix. LMP gets past Tommy Gun, and now LMP's going to have to lap Game Stopper. I don't think LMP is pushing too hard right now because there's really no reason to. He doesn't even have to pass Game Stepper if he doesn't want to. And look at this! Dakota Man getting around the outside of Epic Tommy Gun into the fountain section they go. Epic Tommy Gun holding Dakota Man back. LMP looks like he's going to get the run here on Game Stepper. Nope, does not actually. Game Stepper had a lot more traction through there than I thought. And there's a caution in turn one. It looks like Death Row Tull. A little incident, and here it goes. Around the outside, two things. Look at the top left and the top bot bottom right. And the top right. A whole bunch of action going on. Death Row Toll getting lapped by LMP and Game Stopper. The battle between Dakota Man and Epic Tommy Gun on the final laps of the race as they go into the fountain section, coming out of the fountain section. It goes LMP on Game Stopper. Oh no, my laptop is running low on battery. I will have to back... Grab the backup battery, and LMP is going to get around Game Stopper into the fountain section. They go, and Dakota Man and Epic Tommy Gun still going at it. So they hit the final lap of the race. Oh! Huge contact and a wreck! In the final lap of the race! There's a virtual safety car out as LMP is coming home to finish first. No, they're still going. Oh my goodness. Oh! Chaos into turn one. There's a virtual safety car, but it's just absolute chaos. Their death row toll retired, slamming into the wall. I don't think LMP was expecting to see the herd of cars there. They're under caution right now on the final lap. Some not on their final lap, so it's very confusing. LMP celebrating as he comes to the line. Whoa, he's stopping on the line. What is he doing? He's stopping on track. Um, there is a huge confusion of what's happening right now, but they are under a safety car condition. There's no passing. There we go. LMP is going to the line. I don't know why he's going so slow. I don't think LMP took any damage. I think there's just a lot of confusion of what the hell happened. No, oh, and Dakota Man slamming into LMP. What is going on? They're lining up. Why? What? Why? Why haven't they gone in? The line is right there. I'm okay. Dakota Man's Dakota Man's going. Death or Toll's still sitting there. L LMP is supposed to win the race. I. He he's gonna lose if he doesn't move. Oh, there we go. And LMP moves. This is the most confusing caution I've ever seen. We'll let everyone else finish the race, and the race results, you can see them in one of the screens. We'll show you Game Stepper's POV. And the typed out race results will appear at the end of the video, because we still have one more race after this. We'll have a slight, um, well, more of me a break for me while we wait for the next race to start. We'll see you on the flip side. All right, welcome back everyone. And we lost the video feed, unfortunately. We did not lose the laptop, which is good. And here we go, we are at Coda for the formation lap. We only have two streams, the top left and top right. I'm also running my uh, laptop off of a battery pack. So hopefully this all goes good and we have enough charge and I don't die of heat stroke so that we can record this. Coin is leading the pack for the formation lap after getting crashed, crashing themselves out of the, the um, Long Beach race. 
And we are at Coda, the shorter version of Coda, where it kind of cuts off at the top part. Not the really short one. I think it's the West Circuit. I, I don't remember. <laughs> here we are for the formation lap. Everyone, I really should have brought water out here, dude. It's, it's too hot. <laughs> I chose the worst time of day to do this. I should have done it this morning when it was raining. It was really nice and cool. It's really hot right now. I think my computer can agree. So yeah, <laughs> rounding out the formation lap here. And we are rounding out the formation lap for Coda. Here we go. Game Stopper starting towards the back. So I'll watch his POV. And we're waiting for green. Coin gets to the line. Oh, early on the green, but we are green. Game Stopper gets a huge run out of the first, out of the start. I think he got the green and noticed. It's time to go. It's time to get down to business. And Game Stopper leads out of it into turn one as LMP's on the inside line. Whoa, it's getting a little sketchy. Coin losing two positions just in the first corner. Might lose another one here. Here we go. Coin getting on Game Stopper. Game Stopper gonna have to defend from Coin here. Coming into the S's. This is just like the BRZ Championship. It looks like Coin has a better handling car, but Game Stopper has a better car in a straight line. Game Stopper's going to almost cut the corner on accident. And it's still on the track. That was really sketchy. Here we go. And it looks like Dakota Man's trying his... Oh, Epic Tommy Gun's trying his luck on Coin here. It's going to try and outrun him, give him, taking as much uh, track as he can into the braking zone. Coin losing a position to Epic Tommy Gun. Here we go, Coin trying his luck, her good luck again on Epic Tommy Gun as they come into another corner. Coda is great for battling. It's very, very tough to pass, but it also has a lot of opportunities where you can make an attempt, and Coin might lose another position from making that attempt. It looks like everything's okay. Coin might actually gain a position on Epic Tommy Gun as Epic Tommy Gun cannot hold on the outside line, and Game Stopper looks to be slipping away from LMP. This is kind of to be expected. With Bomber not here, LMP might win this race. Also, I forgot to get rid of the green. Whoops. <laughs> coin catching up to GameStopper a little bit as it goes. LMP, GameStopper, Coin. Are we going to see a remake of GameStopper versus Coin here? We might. We'll see. Coming into the S is a good bit of distance between the two. Looks like Coin's making up that distance as we speak. Just in that S section alone, it looks like that Mercedes has a lot better handling. And Dakota Man is right behind Coin now. And Coin is right behind GameStopper. GameStopper seems to have a lot more top end and acceleration than Coin does. But Coin has the handling over that car. But we remember exactly what happened in the BRZ Championship. GameStopper had a faster car in a straight line and coin out a slower car in a straight line and game stepper still beat the shit out of there it was such a it was brutal coin could not get past no matter how hard she tried 
We might see that brutality here again at Coda. Dakota Man also trying to make a move on Coin there. It did not seem like it was going to work. Also, I think I might have to crack a window in here. It's getting very toasty. A final few corners. LMP pulling away. It looks like Dakota Man's going to try and get past them here. Dakota Man has a good bit more pace. Dakota Man is in a faster car than Coin. But is in an equal car as GameStop are Look at that. Coin just has that cornering and handling and just the exit speed, but not the straight line speed as the Cleos and GameStopper. Dakota Man. Dakota Man might just fly on by GameStopper here, depending on how it goes hard in the brakes into turn one. Dakota Man doesn't seem to be too aggressive here. He's playing it pretty safe. And Dakota Man's trying to make a switchback and this might get a switchback to work. And it looks like we're dropping a few frames here, unfortunately. We're still holding on pretty well in this race. Coin also showing off that advanced handling of that Clio. Uh, of, of the Mercedes against the Clio is... The Mercedes almost passed the Clio during the S section. We go, look how much different lines they take. Dakota Man trying to extend that track as much as possible. He has much run out. Here we go. Coin! Oh, something started to buzz. Might have to unplug that. Yeah, that's not a good sound. I think I just blew up my uh, laptop battery's power supply. So hopefully we can make it on this power. Sorry about that disruption. I hope I didn't just fry that. Oh well, anyways, here we go. Dakota Man getting past ga uh, coin. But look at the handling on the on the Mercedes. It's just almost going to be able to cut back. It's not going to have enough room to do it. Oh, look at that. Just Coin can send it up on corners a lot better than the Clios can. But those Clios have so much better acceleration. Look at the braking on the Mercedes. He's going to dive down onto the inside. Dakota Man is going to make it very tough for Dakota Man to get by. Dakota Man seems to have the pace advantage here just slightly. I think if Dakota Man can get out of this range of where Coin can keep beaten on him, then he'll be much better off into the breaking zone turn one. Coin's still sending it up deep, gonna make Dakota Man go on it a less ideal line as he'd like to. Into the S's, Coin has the advantage here, but has GameStop right ahead of him, so we'll see how much she can, how much ground she can make up on Dakota Man here. The first S is, oh, Coin has to slam on the brakes as to not hit GameStop, and is gonna have to let Dakota Man by there. That was incredible. Coin was able to hold so much more speed into that second S than uh, GameStopper was. And here we go. GameStopper and Dakota Man now du dueling it out. And Coin is getting back into the mix. So I'm not sure if it's on the other side or just on my preview, but we seem to be dropping frames, and I'm sorry about that. The circumstances are pretty shitty for me to be recording right now. I'm literally recording inside of a hot car with a laptop that's about to die. And I think I just fried my uh, charging cords. So that's great. And here we go. Into the final few corners. GameStopper is under threat by Dakota Man, and Dakota Man's still under threat of coin. Into the final corner they go. Dakota Man seems to have the advantage here. Oh, no. The uh, the streams are not very well synced. I'm sorry about that. You go down the front straight. Coin. It goes LMP, Dakota Man, GameStopper, and coin. Coin's still not able to get past GameStopper here. And GameStop are almost sending it on to go to man. See an instant replay on Coin's view there. And Coin says he's going to be able to get by. Wow. So much for the valiant defensive GameStopper. We're not, it does not look like we're going to see the, uh, the BRZ championship all over again. And goodness gracious, look how desperate GameStopper is to make that position up. Taking as much track as he possibly can. 
So thank God this race is about to be over because I am sweating bullets right now and GameStopper is going down to the inside. And I'm not sweating bullets because GameStopper just passed Coin C. He returning to his original position and Coin C is going to get the run. Coin C's almost got the run into the next corner and it's going to take the inside line. It's super close. They're neck and neck and Coin C is going to get ahead. Into the braking zone they go. They're not synced. This is very confusing what's happening. GameStopper nearly taps Coin C there. And we'll just watch GameStopper's point of view for now because they're they're not they're not synced up. You know, into the final few corners, Coin has the advantage right now, and look how much both of them running off the track, and it looks like Coin's going to let out of it and give GameStopper the position there of cutting the track. Wow, GameStopper nearly. Stopped on track there. Interesting strat. This point's in the rearview mirror again. This is familiar ever since GameStopper joined the league. He's always had a fear of Coin being in that rearview mirror. I remember the first race. Saw Coin in the rearview mirror and was like, stop it. <laughs> oh, and here comes Coin trying to get the switch back here. But doesn't seem to be enough as they go into this fast right hander that, that, uh, Cleo has a little bit faster acceleration. Coin's going to go to the right. Are they going to try it too wide? Nope, they're not going to try it too wide. Coin is still right there, right on the bumper. She's going to have to do something really aggressive to get past him. And she's going to try in too wide. Oh, huge contact there. Everyone's still facing the right direction. Hard on the brakes. Oh, Coin nearly getting past there, but had to slam on the brakes and looks like she swerved, almost overdoing it, hitting GameStopper. Coin on the switchback. Coin's going to get by, but how, for how long is she going to be pushed to the outside here? Under breaking GameStopper, pushing her as wide as he can, but Game Coin is going to go for the switchback. GameStopper comes back across the... <coughs> oh my god. Speaking so loud, I'm getting nauseous. It also might be the heat. It's so hot in here. Here we go, coin on the inside, trying to make a switchback move again. Not really a switchback, but just diving for that inside line. While well, GameStopper takes the outside. Almost 8 out of 11 laps to go. We are almost done with this race. Oh, and Coin is going to get the run. Did GameStopper miss a shift there? Go Coin on the inside. Is she going to break harder? Is she going to try and she's going to try and stick into the inside, stick into that inside line? GameStopper is not going to give her as bit better, better, as good of a run as she wants. And Coin's going to slot back in behind. She's going to try and get a wider entrance into the first S. And into the second S, she has, you can see how much she's breaking. She's breaking a lot harder than she wished to. Because if she didn't break, she'd slam right into the back of that Cleo. Onto the back straight. They're still neck and neck almost. Well, not neck and neck, but they're still. So much can happen, and Coin's going to try and dig to that inside line again, and it's not going to succeed. Coin's still there, almost Still there around the outside. I'm trying for a switch pack. That all-wheel drive has a lot more grip than that front-wheel drive car. Does it coming out of the corners? It's not going to get anything done. Is she going to come around the outside? It's going to try to. No avail. As GameStopper takes a very defensive line. She goes for an inside line. Still not going to get enough grip. Need a lot of grip to make that move work right there. And that Mercedes has a lot of grip, a lot of handling, and a lot of pace in the corners, as you can see here. She almost puts it up on the inside around this fast right-hander every time. Into the final two corners. Coin going for the inside line again. GameStop we're still having just enough edge to not be able to let her through. Man, it's hard to it's hard to depict where he's gonna go. Coin on the inside. Coin has the run. Does she though? It's very close. The rear quarter panel. Is she faster in a straight line here? She's not falling back. On the brakes. Who's on the brakes earlier? Coin is on it. 
Coined it on the brakes earlier, but still there. You can see as that proximity arrow is still pointing. But it's going to have to slot in behind. She needs to get past GameStopper before the S's. Once she can, if she can pass GameStopper before the S's, she's going to win. Because one time through the S's, there's a big enough gap that GameStopper's not going to be able to make up, and they're cutting the track a little bit there. Race is coming to an end here. This is going to get really intense in these final laps of desperation. Coin going to the inside. Going to try and send it up. Not going to make anything happen. That was really close, though. She's still there. On the outside, she goes now. Going to try for a switchback, maybe? It might work here. But the understeer is still gr too great. She's falling back. Look at look at the pace the Mercedes has in this section of the track. It's ridiculous. And here they go into the final corners. And Gibbs up is going to make a mistake. But Coin's going to understeer. If Coin just slowed it down a little bit more, she would have been able to overtake him there. Final corner. Quincy sticking it out, then nose up. On the inside there, trying as much as she can to get past as we're on the second to last lap here almost. We saw how desperate she got in the Beersies. We'll see how desperate she gets now. In the first corner, Quinn's going to have a run on the inside. He's going to try and chuck it up. Where was she going? Looks like she just stuck on the inside there. It's going to lose a lot of pace into the S's. I'm going to have to open this door to get some air in here. And Gabe Supper makes a mistake, but Coin is not going to be able to capitalize it on how tight that track is right there. Onto the back straight for the second to last time. Coin going for the outside line this time. GameStopper being forced to go for defensive. And she's going to try and get the switch back. And there's going to be contact. Coin slams into the side of GameStopper. And here they go. Coin has the lead. But gives up the inside line. <coughs> Coin gave up the inside line there. But Coin's still going to have it. GameStopper goes <coughs> back on the inside. I'm so nauseous right now from the heat and all the talking. And how intense this race is. I'm shedding a tear. Or am I having heat stroke? Who knows? And GameStopper's going to hold the position. Onto the final lap now. Anything can happen. And Coin onto the outside this time. Coin seems to be figured out GameStopper's weakness. Every time she tries to take that inside line. She can't get by. And here we go. Neck and neck down the front straight. And Coin's going to get the advantage. Coin figured out how to beat the Cleo. In the straight line into the first corner. Here they go. Hard under breaking. Game Stopper takes an inside line. Where is Coin? Coin gets overtaken on the final, on the first corner of the final lap. <coughs> and it's not going to have the S section. She's going to have to be stuck behind Game Stopper here. Look, she's so close right now, and she can't even do anything. She's going to try and send it on the inside here into this final set of corners. You get real aggressive into the braking zone, under the back straight. She's making up ground onto the straightaway, but is it going to be enough on the outside? Game Stopper's going to squish her to the outside. Game Stopper making a coin trying to make a comeback on the final section of the track. Here we go. Game Stopper's going to get the best on the inside line there. It's not good to be on the outside there unless you can hold it. Under the brakes. Here comes the final fast right-hander coming up. No coin has to send it in this final corner. Just like last lap. Just like last lap down the front straightaway. If she can get close enough, it's all it's all good. And she's so far away now, and GameStopper taking a very inside line. Makes a huge mistake, but coin is going to have to run wide. 
If they go into the final corner, Coin does not seem to be that close enough, and GameStopper is going to take a really slow line on the inside. It's not going to allow Coin to get that run as she did. And Coin's going to have to slowly traverse, and here we go. GameStopper and Coin. And GameStopper is going to prevail over Coin once again, and is going to get a podium at Coda. Coin really not getting any luck. At Coda, the Achilles heel of her championship. And here are the race results. I'm not going to go through them right now. You can read them on your own time. Please pause because I am dying of heat exhaustion right now. And here's the final results for the Hot Hedge series. Coin would have definitely come third in that championship if it was not for Bomber dropping out. But Coin wins the modern Hot Hedge championship and GameStopper pulls a fourth. Beating LMP. Thank you all for watching this championship. The next championship will be V8 Supercars, which is also a month behind, but I will catch up on that, I promise. Hopefully I'll be able to do this in an air-conditioned space for next time. Thank you for watching CXRL. If you'd like to race in our championship leagues, please hit the link below. And for my sake, please hit the like button. I'm dying in here. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time.